Hey everybody, it's Christine Sienna Calabrese from What About the Dog with my co-pilot Olive talking today about how hot is too hot to have your dog in the car. So last summer I did a video on what to do if you find a dog in a hot car in an emergency situation. But every year this happens when the weather starts to warm up we see all the videos about people with their pitchforks and their bats and i know because i'm one of them who's like if i ever see a dog in a car i'm gonna bust some windows and we're all busting windows and that's what we're all about so i want to back up yes this is very exciting so before we get to that point though i want to slow down rewind the tape and let's educate some people because I believe that there are genuinely people that don't understand what's happening to dogs in this situation. And then there's a small percentage of people that are just ignorant and they're gonna do what they wanna do. Um, but for the people that just genuinely don't know, we need to teach them. And I need you to help me by sharing this video and by helping educate people, okay? So we need to tell people that I think we can all agree 70 degrees is a beautiful, nice temperature, right? 70 degrees would be a lovely day, a clear, sunny day. 70 degrees outside is not the same as 70 degrees inside a car. It's not the same, even with all the windows rolled down. It's not. A lot of people don't realize that dogs do not sweat. That is why they pant. It's shocking to me how many people don't realize that dogs don't sweat or they don't give a thought. Um, they do perspire a little bit through the, the pads on their paws. So you might see damp paw prints, but that's it. So these dogs are really, really susceptible to overheating and heat stroke and death. So we need to teach people this. Dogs don't sweat. Temperature outside is not equivalent to temperature inside of a car. So as opposed to leaving someone a nasty note as we sometimes will do if we see a dog left in like a shopping mall parking lot. This is what I want you to do. Go on Google. I went on Google and they have a bunch of images free downloads. I found this one that I really liked. Okay, because it's simple, it's bright, it shows a dog for attention and it's got a really nice temperature gauge here. So it's kind of short and sweet to the point. I kept, I, I printed off a bunch of these and I put them in my car. So now when I run into a situation that's not emergency, but kind of borderline or heading towards something, you know, in these warmer spring months, I'm gonna leave this on someone's windshield in, in hopes of educating them. Because, you know, you might look at this and go, oh my God, 75 degrees outside is the equivalent of 100 degrees inside the car? I had no idea. So, you know, taking a more civilized approach, a more educational approach, we might reach more people, we might help more dogs this way than making people reactive when we get confrontational because we know better, but they don't, all right? So please, get on the Google, pick an image, a simple one, and print them off, carry them with you, okay? This one was from Golden Rescue. I, I just really liked it, it was simple, okay? Share the video, let's educate some people, and as always, please, because well, the weather is getting warmer, so we gotta get this message out now before it gets really hot, okay? Please, what about the cat? Found at whataboutthecatbook.com, and of, of course, what about the dog? Found at whataboutthedogbook.com. Both available through the websites, pre-planning journals. I always tell people, please, please, please buy these, fill them out, prepare, prepare. These are books you would leave behind in case something happens to you. Someone would know exactly how to care for your pet properly. All right, um, I'll include a link to my YouTube channel where I'm stockpiling all of these videos. If you find another topic, you know, that you might wanna hear about, I appreciate you. I appreciate your messages and your support. All right, so thank you and we will talk to you soon.